Welcome back to the Relius Reviews. Today's review is focused on 2021's Amazon's documentary, Mary J. Blige's My Life. And it basically focuses on Mary J. Blige's second album entitled My Life, the 25th anniversary of the album, and just how much of an impact that album has made. Not only in Mary J. Blige's life and music career, but into the lives of just many people who were going through the same things that she was going through. I think this documentary is a pretty good documentary and sad at the same time because of some of the things that were talked about. Here is my review on the matter. So what I first enjoyed about this documentary was Mary J. Blige herself. It was just when it came to some of the things that was discussed in this documentary, for example, her songs that she that she written, some of the samples that were used in a few of her songs. She just always did a good job explaining what the songs meant to her and just how much it helped her when it came to writing and just some of the emotions or feelings that she was going through in her personal life while writing down some of the songs that were discussed in this documentary. I would say another thing that I enjoyed about this documentary would probably have to be the interviews. This inter this documentary has many interviews from a lot of close people of Mary J. Blige, from celebrities to even family members of hers. Some of the people that were interviewed in this documentary was Diddy, um, Taraji P. Henson, Alicia Keys, and the late great Andre Harrell, who actually helped Mary J. Blige starting off as well as Diddy. I just felt like some of the interviews were really well, were really nice as some of them included like a oil painting slash animation of the event happening, which was another pro of this documentary was the animation. Like this documentary has a few different animations, like a few different paint animations that showcases different events of Mary J. Blige's life or just personal events that was important to her. And I think it just does a good job of exemplifying how it was, how it looked, how it was made. I think it was done really, really well when it came to that. There were many um, behind the scenes footage of Mary J. Blige recording her album, My Life, and as well as just like various behind the scenes video footage from different performances or just interviews during that time of her life. And I would say maybe the first thing that I did not like about this documentary was that it, it took quite a while for it began to talk about my life and how much of an impact that album really had, not just to Mary, but just to many people around the world. Don't get me wrong, the first 35 to like 40 minutes of the documentary, it was pretty well. It was really good, actually, as it talks about Mary J. Blige's beginnings, her struggles, how she started off, how she wanted to sing and everything, how she met Andre Harrell, how she met Diddy, how she eventually began recording her first album, What's the 411, and just how much that first album helped many people like believe in themselves, helped many people have confidence within themselves and everything about it. And it wasn't a bad thing, but at the same time, I thought that this documentary was only going to be focusing on her second album only and just talking about how much that album had like a huge impact and everything about it. But yeah, another thing that I thought, another thing that I did not like about this documentary, and this is just a small nitpick. I believe that this documentary was just too short in my opinion. This documentary is only like 82 minutes long, like to me. This is like a very fast watching go. Like you can watch it and everything and just be done with it. I wish that this documentary was a little bit longer, like maybe in between the 90 to 100 minute time slot. I believe that had it been like 90 to like 100 minutes, it would be good. But this documentary to me is just like a 
a little bit too short for my watch. And I would say that the ending itself was was bittersweet as it was dedicated to the late great Andre Harrell, who passed away last year, who was one of the first people to help Mary J. Blige in her life and everything. And I would say that this documentary is a is a pretty good documentary if you're a Mary J. Blige fan and how much that and for the and for the people that really like that album. I like Mary J. Blige. I definitely do enjoy her music and everything about it because she definitely does make a lot of good songs. I will say that. And how to me, I would rate Mary J. Blige, my life out of five stars. I would probably rate Mary J. Blige, maybe four stars out of five. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment. And until next time, goodbye.